Mork EOA syndrome is one of the mucopolysaccharidoses. Uh, it's a disorder that occurs as a result of a deficiency in an enzyme involved in uh, glycosaminoglycan degradation. As a result, uh, keratin sulfate primarily accumulates in tissues of the body. It's a multi-organ system disease uh, in which patients are typically normal at birth, but early in childhood begin to show clinical manifestations including changes in the shape of the chest, they develop a pectus carinatum, and short stature, which typically leads to uh, skeletal x-rays uh, suggesting the diagnosis and then the diagnosis is established by more detailed biochemical testing. Uh, patients with Morky OA syndrome have multiple orthopedic issues. Uh, short stature is of course a, a component of the disorder but in addition we see problems with uh, hips and knees, uh, with spinal cord compression uh, and uh, instability of the cervical spine. So many patients with Morkio require multiple orthopedic procedures. And that's the most obvious part of the disease, but beyond that they also have involvement of the pulmonary system, the airway, cardio vascular system. Uh, they may have other issues that we see in patients with other MPS disorders as well and it is a life limiting disorder so life expectancy is shortened uh, for patients with the disease. The thing I should mention is it's also quite variable. Uh, we see heterogeneity just as we do in many of the other MPS disorders with many patients falling toward the severe end of the spectrum with severe short stature and all of the other complications I described, but with other patients uh, falling more toward a milder end of the spectrum where they may actually have normal stature and oftentimes are misdiagnosed as having some other type of skeletal dysplasia. So it is a disorder, you know, that is quite variable.